Well, authorities are only saying that it was white powder that was found inside an envelope addressed to a judge here inside the courthouse building. I want you to take a look. They do still have this area sectioned off. This is where hazmat crews were gearing up to go inside. They came out just a little bit ago. An important thing to note, though, is that officials say that no one was made sick by this white powder and no one was quarantined. I'll take you to some video of all this going on just earlier. Officials with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office say that a judge's assistant was opening up letters today, opening up mail, when she opened up an envelope addressed to a judge on the fourth floor, and that envelope had white powder inside that it poured out. Now, right now, it is unclear exactly how this mail was sent, whether it was sent through the Postal Service, courier company, whether it was an inter-office mail. That's still being determined at this time. Now, she called 911. Of course, fire rescue showed up, as well as the sheriff's office were called. Multiple fire departments here helping out in this situation. Pinellas Park, Largo Fire, and they are still here at this time. Of course, hazmat crews showed up as well. They geared up, and they went inside. Now, while all this was going on, there were no evacuations ordered here at the courthouse. Uh, we're told that everything was contained to that office, so the Justice Center did not shut down. You had people going in and people going out of here. There was only one exit hallway that appeared to be blocked off. But other than that, we're told that it was business here as usual. So again, we're told the investigation is still continuing into this. It is still unclear as to what exactly the suspicious white powder was. But uh, the public information officer for Pinellas County Sheriff's Office tells us that it should be determined by the end of the day exactly what this powder was. But again, investigation is still ongoing at this moment. We're live in Clearwater off the Paul, ABC Action News. Thank you.